economy is going, more and more people living in the suburbs of St. John are leaving their cars in the driveway and hopping on the city's new transit service. Commuter Express or Comex buses have been on the roads for six months and they're a big hit. So what's the big draw? Well, the CBC's Chris Corday climbed on board to find out. Uh, if anybody would see the traffic coming in from the KV Valley every day, it's just after dawn, and Tom McGraw is steering his bus out to the sunny suburbs. I'm going to leave out there at 735. This is the Community Express bus, bound for Hampton, one of three new bus routes picking up suburbanites. Good morning. And taking them on the highway into St. John. It takes about uh, a little less than half an hour, maybe 20, 25 minutes, all depending on the on the on the weather conditions. The commuter buses were announced last January with this photo op for politicians. Some who thought the new service was doomed to fail. I'm not sure that we're going to get people to uh, use the uh, bus service. But judging by the numbers on the Hampton Express, that prediction was wrong. About 80 paying Hamptonians now get to work this way. Starting with only five riders in September, it's grown to two full busloads. The second day, I think it creeped up to about 12, and then it just continually started to grow since then. The beauty of this commute is the freedom to forget about traffic, soaking up the scenery or getting some more rest. But it's the convenience and savings that are filling these buses. It's my only way to get in. <laughs> but yeah, it's cheaper. Oh, it's great. I, I walk to the bus stop, so it's, I can get here as quick as I can you know, scrape my windshield in the morning. St. John Transit says the 50 vehicles parked here at the Comic stop are evidence of what the service is doing, saying each bus load takes 40 vehicles off the road. So it's been extended. The difference that makes isn't lost on the driver. I remember hearing figures of 10,000 cars, you know, on a, on a daily basis using this highway here. So uh, 50 doesn't seem like too much, but it's a start, I guess. <laughs> the two other COMEX routes aren't as busy as this one yet, but every seat filled on these buses is part of a drive toward a greener St. John. Chris Corday, CBC News, Hampton. For most people, moving day is a hassle when they drive.